Common pool resources are a um, is a very general term to refer to a wide diversity of resources in the world where it's hard to exclude people from them, but once they are in and if they use or harvest, what they harvest takes away from others. So an easy example is to think of a fishery. It's hard to get a boundary on a fishery, uh, so it's hard to exclude people. But uh, if I take out a ton of fish, a uh, ton of fish are not available to other fishermen. Well, the public good and the common pool resource share the difficulty of exclusion. Um, so, uh, uh, having peace and security in your neighborhood, you can't exclude anyone from enjoying it, but any one person does not subtract from peace and security. Um, so it's this difference between um, uh, sub subtractability or not. I'm not arguing that um, uh, centralization or privatization will sometimes work. Um, I'm arguing that they are not the only solutions of successful systems and that many times individuals come together and create a common property regime um, that uh, they understand but not necessarily others from the outside and that many common property regimes are also successful. It is hard to come with a, a common set of rules uh, that is negotiated um, person to person or through uh, various ways at a global level. Of, um, but we can be working on local rules that work very well. If we keep our current theories, no. So um, uh, a good deal of our academic work has me very discouraged. Uh, if we can slowly but surely change the way we think about these problems, uh, uh, I think there are ways of doing um, much better multi-level thinking uh, and uh, understanding the diversity and the complexity and not rejecting it. So yes, I think there's a good chance, but if we stay with our current uh, narrow ways of thinking about the world, no, I'm very discouraged.